What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. And what is this? This is the Field Pack Firefighters Complete Assembly US Forest Service Specification. There's the specification number and the specification year that it's uh, specified to is February of 96. However, this was manufactured back in 1002, so it was only two years old then. And this is what it looks like when it should be new or issued to you. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, and also, there's the national stock number. So this is government-made uh, stuff. Hope that doesn't blow away. So here's the bag. As you can see, it's got the classic FSS on there. It's got a snap here, not sure what it's uh, for, a carrying handle, the Fastex buckles here, Fastex buckles here, the flap compartment, or flap pocket, it's got uh, reflective strips on this side, this side, and this side, and it's got two side pockets here, and then one here, there's no drain hole. And then it's got a Cordura tag, only by DuPont. And then it pretty much just says that uh, this material is uh, resistant to abrasions, tears, scuffs, and punctures. It's rugged, durable, and lightweight. Um, DuPont is also the same company that invented Kevlar. So I'm sure that there's a base of that somewhere made within this pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. So you got the buckle here buckle here. Let's take a look at what's in the main compartment, or not main compartment, but flap compartment. Right here it comes with a couple papers from the manufacturer, other FSS gear that you can buy from them. Obviously this paper is a little old so I doubt if you submitted this thing um, just telling you what kind of, telling them what kind of gear you bought and how you liked it. I would doubt that uh, that number still works right there at the bottom. And then, uh, here's the main instructions. I think it's interesting that their uh, fire shelter, the canteen cover, and the uh, belt pack doesn't have S FSS on there, but the bag itself does. And I'll let you get a close-up of that. So if you guys wanted to read that, then go ahead and pause the video if you'd like. And then... There's this, it just shows the guy wearing it, and then here's the other side. So you see you got your main pack, the two canteen cases, the belt pack, the fire shelter, the harness, and the equipment belt. And judging by their hairstyles, Definitely doesn't look like this thing has been updated since the late 90s. And if you guys want to pause the video and read that, then go ahead. I'll probably do, I might do an in-depth video later on of the instructions. So, got that covered. There's the, uh, typically on military bags, this is the map, map pack. Map, map, no map pocket and then here's the main compartment it's got a drawstring like that go ahead and open it up you can see that on the inside you can see the tag it says field pack firefighters and then there's the national stock number and then it was manufactured in October of 2002 now you may notice that this is not the M1984 wildland fireman's pack the only difference between that one and this one is that this one has a bit of uh, like a sheet of plastic in the back and it uh, helps your back a little bit more. Down at the fire station, mine is the M1984 so it doesn't have this and the, the uh, nylon is green um, so it, it doesn't support your back as good but pretty much does the exact same thing. And then without the gear in there, you can see how much space that you have. I'd say it's a little bit smaller than a tropical rucksack, just to give you collectors a uh, perspective of size. 
So then, now that you got it laid out, or now that you have it unpacked, let's make sure that you have everything. You have the suspenders, the utility belt, the belt pack, which I think this is the equivalent of a butt pack for the fire service. Um, as you can see, it uses the Alice clips. It says belt pack. There's the national stock number. I think that's a lot number and then there's the manufacturing number or date November of 02 and it's got straps up top which I think strapped to the suspenders uh, mine down at the fire station I don't have this bag so I'd actually have to take a look at it to see how it's used and then it's got the zipper just to show you guys how big it is so it actually folds out pretty good size and it's got the standard FSS on there. We like that stuff. We like the, the FSS on there. Um, then we got the two canteen covers or carriers or canteen case. There's the national stock number. There's the lot number. And then this one was made of May of 02. There's the Alice clips. There's the FSS. And then there's just the two snaps. And then there's the inside. Now, all this yellow fabric, all of it is waterproofed, or rubberized. And you should have two of those. Here's the second one. So, let's open up, or er, unravel the belt. The old ones use the green pistol belt fabric. This one, the newer ones use black. You can see the tag here. It says equipment belt. There's the national stock number, the lot number, and this one was manufactured in June of 02. It has the military Fastec buckle on there. Um, the one that I have down at the station that's issued to me, I don't believe it's like this. I think it's something a little bit different. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, I'm gonna have to go ahead and put it together here. I'll show you guys that when we get out the suspenders. And then here are the suspenders. Here are your Wildland suspenders, or the FSS suspenders. That's what they look like. You can see you have a chest strap here it's adjustable you can move up and down you got your suspender straps here and here you have your fast stack buckles to put the wildland the main pack on your bag and then on the back here you have your fast X buckles to attach it to the pistol belt or the uh, equipment belt and then it says harness then there's the national stock number then there's the manufacturing number August of 02 and got thick good padding. So let's start by undoing this buckle here. And you want to make sure that your belt has these buckles on there. If your belt does not have these buckles on there, then you can't attach the suspenders to the pack. So you got a total of six. Two little ones and then two or er, four big ones. So we got the suspenders. I really don't care for how they um, made these suspenders go back so far. And then just follow the strap through. So there's the suspenders attached to the um, bag. Now the, the suspenders attached to the belt. Now if you follow the manual, 
it says that your um, belt pack should go in the center. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys have seen Alice Clips work. You just open them up like that. And we're going to slide them on. Like so. Then the next step is to attach your canteen covers. Now right here it says your fire shelter should go there and then your next canteen cover should go next to it. I currently do not have a fire shelter. Um, that's for you wildland guys or anybody who's been in the fire service. That's the, the one thing that you'll notice is wrong with this is that there's no fire shelter. For those of you not in the fire service, pretty much if you go on any wildland or grass fire, you have to have a fire shelter and that's the bottom line. And attach this last one. So without the main pack, I'll go ahead and throw this on for you guys. I hope the straps are all adjusted good. This is how this should look. Buckle did itself, that's great. So then you got your chest strap here. Alright, so aside from this slight malfunction here, you can see how this sort of supposed to look. You got your two canteens, and then your uh, belt pack, and then the fire shelter would be right here ish. So let's go ahead and attach main pack to this to complete the assembly. While we're at it, I'll go ahead and reattach this strap here. So, first, get your buckles here. Got your suspenders. Flip them on like that. The ones, uh, the one that I have down at the station, I only have those two. But there's also these bottom ones right here. You can go behind the canteen cover, and snap it there, cinch it down a little bit. Go behind the canteen cover, carrier, and cinch it down a little bit. All right. Go on the whole set. So you got your chest strap. Now you got another buckle here. And this is the complete firefighter's assembly minus the fire shelter. You can see the, the main pack there belt pack here with the two canteen covers. Now for those of you who are in the fire service, you might have seen this gear, but the chances are you having it is probably pretty slim, even though that they did mass produce this stuff. Nowadays most guys have uh, the North Face um, wildland gear, the real expensive bells and whistles. I like the old stuff myself. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, then you know that. Now, the interesting thing about these canteen covers is that even though that they have a specific wildland canteen, unfortunately those ones are getting harder to find. I don't know why. Since it is a U.S. cover, the U.S. military uh, um, one quart canteen does fit in there really perfect. Here's a 1987 uh, canteen with the gas mask top. Uh, if you're a wildland firefighter, then you're probably not going to need that gas mask top, but just to show you guys that it fits. There you go. 
It's the same size as their normal wildland canteen. It's just the military one. So here is the full firefighters pack setup. Two canteens, the belt pack, the main pack, the belt, the suspenders. Of course, you'd have the fire shelter on there. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, want to know more about it, go ahead and let me know. And I'll try to tell you guys uh, whatever you want to know about it. Other than that, I hope you found this video useful. If you're a fire service personnel or if you're just a collector, then I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.